13 4 and this is the chapter on I it's like curvature I think and the unit tangent and the unit normal vectors I mean the, these next two chapters are essentially all bullshit I I hate these chapters they're no fun plug and chug and that's exactly what we're gonna do so the problem we're gonna cover today then is going to be 13 4 9 let me make this full screen that's the wrong color 1349 which is the following you want to find uh, T hat n hat and K Kappa for the curve uh, and we got R of T is equal to essentially 3 sine T 3 cosine T for T all right, so how do we find t hat n hat? That looks like a w, but it's an n, um, and k kappa. So the way we do this then is we t hat is the tangent vector, right? It's the unit tangent vector, so it's r prime of t over the magnitude of r prime of t, and the book writes this as v of t over the magnitude of v of t, right? And a lot of times we even just drop the of t part, but let's keep it for here. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay, cool. What is the unit normal vector? Well, the unit normal vector is n hat, and it's the derivative of the unit tangent vector over the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent vector. So. It, it, it appears to be exactly what it is. Uh, we just got a lot of derivatives that we have to take, and there's really no way around this. So, all right, so let's get to the problem then. And sorry, I have to pull it up on my screen. Okay, and so, okay, r prime of t. So we want to find the unit tangent first. r prime of t is going to be equal to 3 cosine t, negative 3 sine t, 4, okay? And then what's the magnitude of r prime of t? Well, that's going to be the square root of 3 cosine t squared plus negative 3 sine t squared plus 4 squared. Well, that's equal to 9 cosine squared t plus 9 sine squared t plus 16. And that's equal to, well, I, I can factor a 9 out of these first two guys, and something cool will happen. This is 9 times cosine squared t plus sine squared t. Aha, uh -huh. right? Plus 16. Well, I know what cosine squared t plus sine squared t is, right? It's cosine squared plus sine squared. That's 1. So this is 9 times 1. So this is actually then just 9 plus 16, which is root 25, which is 5. Okay? And so t hat is r prime of t divided by the magnitude of r prime of t, which ends up just being, well, one-fifth times 3 cosine t, negative 3 sine t, 4. Okay? Cool beans. So the next part, then, we need to find is the unit normal. Right? And so now, what is t prime? What's t hat prime? of t right so i need to take the derivative of this guy up here well that's going to be one fifth times uh negative three sine t negative three cosine t zero okay right the derivative four is going to be zero and now after i found t prime of t which is dt right that's d this is equal to t prime of t um now I need to find the magnitude of t hat prime of t. And what is that? Well, that's equal to, I can just take the one-fifth out on the outside and then end up the square root of negative 3 sine t squared plus negative 3 cosine t squared, uh, which is actually doing the same trick as above. You actually get the square root of 9, and so this is actually 3 fifths. Okay? So... Cool. And that means then uh, n hat, which is equal to t pr hat prime of t over the magnitude of t hat prime of t, right? 
that's equal to uh, one fifth times negative three sine t negative three cosine t zero divided by three fifths and that's equal to the following uh, so it flips and then you get oh, okay so you get one-fifth times five-thirds times negative three sine t uh, negative three cosine t zero and so that cancels and then this three actually cancels with the guys on the inside so you get negative sine t comma negative cosine t comma zero. Okay, and so that's n hat. All right, so we got n hat, we got t hat. And now uh, all I need to find is k, which is the curvature. And I didn't include this as an equation, but it's one over, let's, let's include it up here. And yeah, okay, so k curvature is equal to one over the magnitude of the velocity vector times the magnitude of dt dt. All right. And so we need one over the magnitude of velocity vector dt dt magnitude of that. Okay. So what is one over the velocity vector? Uh, the magnitude of one over the velocity vector. Well, the magnitude of velocity vector is five, right? That's because that's the magnitude of r prime of t. Well, r prime of t is the velocity vector. So the magnitude of that is five. So this is equal to one over five. Okay. And then dt dt, the magnitude of that, what we found right here is three fifths. So the magnitude then is that times three fifths. And so the curvature is three over 25. And so that's how you find the unit tangent, the unit normal and the curvature, bunch of derivatives. And guess what? That's all I'm going to cover for this section because fuck everything else. Um, there's like this osculating circle bullshit that that is that my professor decided to cover one of the semesters. It's stupid. I'll cover it in my recitations if it comes up. Um, it's not even in the core problems on the syllabus. I have no idea why they decided to cover it that one semester. Um, yeah. So okay, we're gonna move on. Thirteen five. Guess what? We're going to return right to this problem. It's going to be the exact same shit, and we're going to take more derivatives. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that. And, oh, last thing I want to mention, K, uh, this this curvature, it does have another formula um, in the textbook. Uh, it's given as, let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyways, uh, I can't find it right now. It's in my notes. It's something like the magnitude of V cross A. Um, so the curvature is also equal to uh, magnitude of V cross A over the magnitude of V cubed, where V is velocity and A is the acceleration vector. Take that for what it is. It might be easier. I don't know. I haven't tried it. And um, yeah, if you try that, you should get the same answer. Again, done with 13.4, let's move on, 13.5.